The Nashville Zoo is spreading a lot of love with these guys. And no, they aren't monkeys, but they're a type of ape. Davis Nolan has more in this week's Zoo Palooza. If you've been to the Nashville Zoo, you've probably heard this signature sound. No, that's not a recording. It's the Gibbons calling out at the primate exhibit. It's kind of like a territorial call. So they're like, hey, this is my territory. I want to stay here. I'm letting you guys know that you're not allowed to be over here. It's kind of what they're saying to us. We have three white cheek Gibbons. We have Makayo, who is the youngest. He is the son of Singwa and Patty, who are the mom and dad. Patty, which is the father, plays with Makayo a lot. He'll like move him around, touch his toes and his arms, kind of play with him. and. Singwa and Patty kind of groom each other. They're really strongly bonded to each other. So you can definitely tell their personalities. And you can see Makayo is pretty crazy. He's got a lot of pent up energy, so he likes to get it out. And for the record, these guys are not monkeys. So a lot of people do think that these guys are monkeys, but they're actually lesser apes. Um, so they're part of the ape fam, the apes. So there's lesser apes and the great apes. Uh, lesser apes contain the Siamings and the Gibbons, where great apes are gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, and bonobos. Uh, the big difference between these guys and monkeys is that they don't have tails. So if you look at our gibbons over here, you can see they have really stubby tails or no presence of a tail. Um, and they also move a lot different than monkeys. And the Nashville Zoo is always trying to keep the species going, and that means lots of love. We have a new female red ruff lemur, and she will be introduced to the male, the male red ruff lemurs very soon, which is very exciting. We might have future babies. And watching the gibbons swing around in the trees is absolutely fascinating. Gibbons uh, use a locomotion called branchiation. Uh, same with Simings, where they have really long arms so they can swing to branch to branch, and that's how they get around. You'll also see them when they walk on their feet. They'll put their hands way up high, and they use that to balance. I think what guests enjoy the most is how natural it looks. Um, they can swing to branch and branch. You can see how they kind of react in the wild and how they move in the wild. So I think guests really enjoy seeing them move around and just how natural it looks. They're no doubt some of the most entertaining animals at the Nashville Zoo. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2. To see more of our Zoo Palooza feature stories, head to WKRN.com. Just click that News tab at the top left of the homepage and search Nashville Zoo.